ladies and gentlemen it appears that it is actually possible to unlock all seven marches in kvk technology as a free to play player what's going on guys cheers a lot of you guys have been commenting talking about how i drink too much cola okay so this is sparkling water it's peach flavored okay my body is a temple now look kvk technology and crystals in kvk have been a big topic of heated debate in not just the rise of kingdoms community but also here on this youtube channel ever since it was introduced into the game i think around the end of 2020 if i'm not mistaken and since then the kvk technology system has gone through a ton of different changes over the last year and a half and i'm happy to announce that the most recent change that happened a couple of months ago i believe at the end of march or beginning of april is one that is actually extremely favorable for free to play players who have some time to invest into the game now you might be saying okay on the arc this this update came out a couple of months ago like you're really late to the party what's going on here well i was actually in the middle of a kvk when they released that latest update Update, and then we kind of declined a few kvk invitations so right now is actually the first time okay i'm a couple days in first time that i'm actually getting to experience this for myself and i wanted to actually see this with my own two eyes before i make a video about it i wanted to actually see it myself okay so in this video we're going to talk about some of the good changes that came to kvk technology for free to play players but also for low spenders because you get a really good value out of some of the super cheap bundles that are now available in this kvk and look okay in the past uh i've said some pretty negative things about the kvk system okay i have it is what it is okay and i'm gonna be honest with you guys uh i i don't think lilith really appreciates the amount of negativity uh that i have said about their kvk system okay but look I, I don't regret it and i don't take back anything that i've said about crystal technology okay because at the end of the day i just tell the truth here on the channel all right we see it with our eyes and we speak it to the camera okay and up until this point kvk crystal technology has just been a plague on the game for over a year and a half maybe a year and a quarter but still way way too long and so it is what it is I just call it how I see it but what's also important when talking about the negative things about the game is to also acknowledge when good things happen okay when the developers actually change something for the better it's important that as a community we acknowledge that just as loudly as we acknowledge their failures now look am i saying that kvk and crystal technology is is perfect no i i really just hate the crystal tech system in general i i just i really think the game would be better without it but it's never going to go away okay they've already built so many game modes around it and let's be honest it's sort of a, a guaranteed uh sort of lazyish way to guarantee income right from from the whales every kvk they're gonna spend even and and lilith doesn't have to do anything new so i i understand from a business perspective that this is not changing but what they can do if they're not going to remove it um is actually make it more accessible for free to play players and low spenders and that seems to be what they've done here now this is a screenshot from our good friend ace okay if you guys don't know who ace is he has been a free to play player for the longest time now he did i think he bought the growth fund when he first started his account but ever since then he hasn't spent any money on the game which means he is completely free to play in kvk heroic anthem and he sent me some screenshots a few weeks ago saying hey omni like i'm pretty sure this new update is actually a big deal for free to play players because this is a screenshot he took on his final day in kvk and he was able to unlock uh, and I, I know he doesn't have it unlocked here in this picture uh but had he actually defeated all the kahars that he had whistles for in his inventory he would have had enough crystals to unlock the seventh march as a free to play player now he didn't do that because it was the last day so like who cares it doesn't actually matter all the fighting is over kvk is over but what that does mean is that he was able to unlock six armies before the past five opening and that was even with him saying that he sort of slacked off the week prior because he got a new job so this is a big deal for free to play players and and low spenders for the future of kvk technology okay now look is this going to be easy to do no okay it's my understanding that ace is a very active player as free to play 
Uh, and so, you know, many people might not have as much time invested into the game as he does, but just the fact that it is actually possible to get really far into your crystal technology as a free to play player. That's huge. Okay. That's huge. What that means is if you're not performing well as free to play, then you may have just needed to invest more time. And I understand that a lot of people can't do that. I get that. And again, I'm not saying the crystal tech system is, is perfect. It's, it's not, but I think this is a huge step in the right direction. And now that I'm seeing it, uh, for my own two eyes in my own KVK, uh, I'm comfortable making a video talking about how this change is actually really good. Okay. Now I wanted to make sure that ACE wasn't just some sort of like crazy outlier. So I reached out to Merp, who is another free to play player. And this was the progress of their KVK technology. Again, totally free to play on the day, or I believe the day before Kings land actually opened for fighting. So as you can see here um they made it all the way up to the third round of uh, of attack buffs for the different troop types and you obviously you see here focusing mainly on infantry and that's really what you want to do if you're free to play you're probably going to have a few marches that are stronger than the rest and whatever that troop type is that's what you want to focus on and then if you can't get it to 10 then you can start to put some extra crystals elsewhere you can see that merp decided not to actually get the sixth army um uh, army slot but we can go ahead and take a look that they did make it all the way up to improved morale too, which gives you 1% extra damage. So it is definitely possible to make significant progress, uh, in KVK tech as free to play. Now Merp did say that at the time of screenshotting this, they had 168,000 individual honor points. So keep that in mind. Merp is a very active free to play player. And they did also say that all of their tier two technology was maxed out except for swift marching two. They said that that was at seven marching orders. They said was uh, also at seven. And they also said that attack formation and call to arms were at seven. And finally, they mentioned that Karaku reports two was only at level three. Everything else level two and earlier was completely maxed out for them. And then you might be thinking on the why is it good for a free to play player or a low spender to have six, even seven march in kvk and some of you might already be typing in the comments chatting saying okay free to play players should focus all of their good commanders into three or four powerful armies and uh fighting with five or six full marches might actually be spreading them thin and filling their hospital faster and i understand that but regardless it's still very good for free to play players to have the ability to get six or even you know, technically seven marches in kvk because not only does that mean that they just have one free slot meaning they can keep an army in a, in an alliance pit or they can use it to go grab a rune or something like that but during downtime it means that they now have six armies that they can gather gems with or six armies that they can gather resources with or maybe on the last day uh or the maybe the last two days uh, they have seven armies that they can gather gems with right and that's a huge deal okay i remember ace telling me that this was a big deal for him because he was able to gather gems with six armies and that's where if you're a very active free-to-play player this is going to help you out a ton so what actually changed well of course they they actually changed the tech a little bit they've moved around some things they've added some new things like karaku reports and we're going to talk about that here in a moment uh, and they've also moved some things off to the side i believe they moved call to arms two over here off to the side uh, and so there's a lot of really good stuff that they've done with the layout of the technology now they haven't changed any of the buffs okay some of these buffs still go pretty high we get 10 percent attack here and we have you know they can improve morale and all that stuff this is still going to give you a bunch of extra damage uh but here's the thing right if they had go gone the other way where they just made it so that way the buffs in the research center were significantly lowered again because mind you they've done that multiple times people would still complain okay if all they did was cut everything here in half i think people would still complain about this technology regardless right because if it's not obtainable by free to play it doesn't matter how big or small the buff is they're always going to look at that buff and and even if it's not really that applicable they will just use it as a scapegoat to say well I perform poorly this KVK because I didn't have the tech, even if the buff was only 3%, 5%, whatever. So what I'm happy about is that Lilith actually took the other route, which was, okay, let's just give a ton more ways for players to get crystals 
as free to play so that way they can focus on getting the right buffs and i think that's the right way i think that's the right course of action okay beyond the technology changing they did also add the crystal quest system so this is an additional sort of battle pass system just like lucerne scrolls now am i happy about that N not really but but as a low spender this is actually good value okay it, it i have to i have to admit okay as much as i hate the fact that this game literally has two battle passes like wh who do you think you are at the end of the day this is actually an improvement so i'm going to withhold my criticism of the game having two battle passes uh and just say that this is actually good okay the crystal quest system is actually good for the game why because the top row is completely free and it's going to be accomplished by doing things that you're going to do anyway daily tasks weekly tasks things like that uh i didn't i haven't tried to do any of these weekly tasks and i've completed all of them except for this one which i'm currently in a building for so like you don't have to focus on these too much uh in order to actually um get to the end of this uh in a meaningful amount of time okay uh and the good news is that this top row gives you i think about a million i think it's a million fifty thousand crystals for free and you get an iconic crystal which is a big deal because these are not that easy to get okay so that's really good and this top row is great now if you are willing to spend the 15 dollars which i i did do that I'm, I'm guilty okay it's 15 dollars. you unlock the bottom tier i think you get an additional like 9 million crystals which is far and above like way better than the free tier uh and it's you know it, it's 15 dollars, right it's 15 dollars. it is what it is i'm just happy that they didn't put the iconic crystal here that would have been super annoying if you had to spend 15 dollars for it um so i'm glad that they did that but regardless 15 dollars for 9 million crystals is a great deal okay it's a great deal it is okay and i think if you're a low spender this is probably worth it okay the five dollar bonus you know season supply boost here for five bucks that's insane value and then the next best thing is going to be this 15 dollar advanced treasures uh, bundle so for 20 dollars you get really good value and if you're super active you're gonna be able to get really far in the technology okay but that's not all because actually the biggest thing that i think that they've done is they've added the trial of Kokarok, and I am a huge fan of this where this this event okay I'm a big fan of this I really like what they've done here and what's cool is like this is sort of just the Kurok ceremony with a couple of extra bells and whistles okay you have different difficulties that unlock at different Chronicles throughout the Lost Kingdom and you're able to get a ton a ton of free crystals from doing this now I've completed the easy levels okay and I gotta say it does get to be a little bit hard especially at levels 10 20 and 30. I wish I could go in here and show you all the rewards I believe easy difficulty gives you like two or 2.5 million crystals if you can completely do all of it which is a ton especially because this is unlocked right at the beginning of kvk so you actually get a ton of free crystals by doing this and you you definitely want to do this as soon as you possibly can you want to get all the crystals in your hands as soon as you possibly can so you can focus on the technology okay now again I do want to emphasize that some of the boss levels in this uh even on easy mode might be a little bit hard for free to play players if you don't have great commanders or equipment in season of conquest and on top of that if you're free to play you might not ha have a lot of early uh early kvk crystals to invest in getting better tech to help you out with this um so it's still going to be a little bit hard for some players okay I've, I've heard players say that it's a little bit difficult as free to play but nonetheless this is a great event for free to play especially for those that are really invested in the game and are really spending time because that means they've probably got the equipment and commanders required to do something like this and on top of that it requires a hundred I think AP to summon one of these uh Kokarok barbarians next to your city and then it doesn't require AP to actually attack it afterwards which means you're not even going to spend a ton of AP to do this however it is timed so you are going to have to uh, really focus on on getting this done but on top of all that you're also going to get these these season coins which is awesome okay a new way to get a bunch of a bunch of coins is sweet because they've also added the 50 percent off commander sculptures and equipment material choice chest legendary variant which of course 
I have bought both all of them for both so overall if you guys are active players in rise of kingdoms whether you're free to play low spender or a whale this is a good update it's a good update this opens the door for a lot of low spenders who are really hard working to actually be perhaps rally leads and garrison leads it, it, it may be possible and that's huge right giving players more things that they feel like they can accomplish in the game makes them want to keep playing okay and I can say from my experience as somebody you know I consider myself maybe a low to mid spender I'm actually okay with spending $20 every kvk I'm actually okay if I'm being honest I'm okay spending $70 on every single KVK I'm fine with that why because this event lasts over a month a month and a half two months right uh and when you consider how much a brand new game costs for the PS5 or the Nintendo Switch uh you know am I gonna get a month and a half or two months of entertainment out of that game every single day probably not right probably not I'm just being honest okay so you know the fact that I get daily entertainment from Rise of Kingdoms especially during KVK I'm okay with spending that money and that's me and I know that's not for everybody but I'm just giving you guys my thought process here okay I'm fine with spending that uh if I feel like it matters uh and now I feel like spending that money matters so I'm okay doing it prior to this update um I didn't want to spend $70 because I knew that I still wasn't gonna max the tech and I still couldn't be a garrison lead and I still couldn't be a rally lead I mean maybe if I spent like 14 hours a day in the game but I have other stuff to do okay so what I'm trying to say is that this update not only is really good for free to play players but it's also going to encourage some people to spend money that they wouldn't have otherwise spent it's sort of like a win-win now the top end whales they're still probably gonna super mega whale okay so overall I think this is a pretty good update to crystal tech is crystal tech perfect no it never will be just by nature but again it's important to be as loud with our positive feedback as we are with our negative feedback and Lilith this is a good update please do not nerf any of these things in the future with that being said guys hopefully you enjoyed this video if you found it informative or useful or entertaining or anything like that drop a thumbs up on it it really helps out the channel it kind of helps get this video out into the youtube algorithm so other rise of kingdoms players might see it as always if you're new here subscribe to the channel and click that bell to be notified the next time that i upload a rise of kingdoms video with that being said guys thank you so much for watching this has been omniarch i will talk to you guys again soon peace